again. I just wanted to show you uh, it's Lavender Rose doing the, the flower thingy. Um, I just wanted to show you that, look at this one. All the rest of them didn't look like this, but this one has just put roots out like crazy. So it needs a nice home to go into. And I think since it has so many roots, I am going to put it in a bigger pot. So that's one of my change my mind. Oh, no. Lizard got caught in there, poor baby. Uh, I'm going to change my mind and go to a bigger pot. Because I got a feeling he is going to be full of roots before I can get him planted. So that's one thing. You see, something's already got a bunch of roots. You haven't even got it in the pot yet. You can about figure it. It's going to be real weak. And it's going to need uh, a lot of space. So keep that in mind when you're doing this stuff. And uh, uh, when you put him in here, I'm sweating, it's hot. Oh, sorry. Um, gently push it down just a little bit, not just enough to hold it. Try to be really, really careful around those roots. Oh, I gotta get another bag. Hang on. Um, Speaking of this, this is what I got. This is Scott's and Hypodex and Hypodex, something like that. Um, decided I would try it. I don't like it. Um, I just don't like it. It has a lot of woodsy stuff in. This is supposed to be potting soil. You know, having a little bit of wood sticks and stuff in there is not a problem, but it had some acorns in it. I do not want to plant acorns in my pot. <laughs> it's just something I don't want to do. So there's a thought for you, because I always got miracle grow. Um, this is what I always got. And I thought I would try something different there. So this is the best. Um, this is really good stuff. This feeds for six months, where the other only fed for four months. Uh, so I will be buying more of this and not the other. Um, so anyway, if you haven't been to my channel before, welcome to it. Uh, I do all kinds of stuff. I, uh, metal detect, uh, and, uh, just do all kinds of things. I'm a type of person, I'm not happy unless I'm doing something, so I, you know, there's always something for me to do. I do stained glass. Uh, I've done pottery. I don't need a spider in there either. Um, you know. So I'm just kind of an, an all-around person who likes to do just a little bit of everything. Um, greenhouses, I just absolutely love the greenhouse. Um, it gives you a chance to start your stuff or keep your plants from dying out in the cold, which I, that's where one reason I got mine for. Another one was to be able to start plants, get my garden going earlier. Um, it's just nice. Yeah, this, this, this dirt here is just, just not as good as uh, the miracle Grow. So don't waste your money on this stuff. Um, I mean, in a pinch, if you can't get anything else, you know, whatever. But for a real good soil, this is not really what you want. Uh, you want something that you can plant your stuff in and not have acorns coming up in it. Uh, I was a little surprised to find an acorn in there. And there was like two or three of them, so I thought, mm. <laughs> uh, wasn't real happy after I got it. But, you know, I wanted to try something different and see. Uh, you can get stuck in a root, and maybe what you're using is not the best, and you might find something that's better. So anyway, um, I love planting, always have, always will. Uh, that's just something that's, that I love to do. Um, and as I told you, I love lavender roses, that's where I got my name from, for my channel. Um, because I love lavender roses. Okay, uh, if you ever get a chance to get one of these, my goodness, jump onto it. I imagine your, um, oh, what do you call them? 
tractor and supply. I imagine they would probably have them more so than anyone else. This is a metal one, absolutely awesome. I bought this from a yard sale years and years ago. Now, of course, I've still got it. Uh, it's so good for scooping up almost anything. I use it for my bird seed. I decided to bring it out here and use it for my dirt. Absolutely fabulous. You might can find them at uh, Goodwill, Salvation Armies, but uh, there's a lot of collectors who, not collectors, but uh, people who sell online. And they buy this stuff. And uh, then they turn around and sell it online on eBay, you know. So you have a hard time really getting something like this. But uh, if you can find it, uh, yeah, go for it. It's really a good deal. Uh, it's helpful a lot of different ways. It's just awesome. Okay, so that's it. I'm going, I've got my rose, roses planted. Oh, and another little, another little thing that might help you out because if I didn't do this, I wouldn't know which rose was which it started blooming. These come with a little uh, packet in there, a little uh, piece of thing that tells you about it and all. Uh, and you know, your pruning and all that stuff. So yeah, this is good to keep. Uh, I used to take and put it plastic and tape it on there, but uh, today I'm just tuck stuffing it in here like this so I know which one is which. And uh, so all my roses are planted. We had to go in the greenhouse and live happily until it gets warm enough to put them outside. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, a couple of them about on the, the rehouses and stuff. Uh, anyway, this is the stuff that come out. I never use this stuff. It goes to the trash or either just out in the yard. Uh, it's not something I'll use because of, um, I don't know, I just don't use it. It's nothing but um, like wood chips or something. So uh, I will probably throw them in the, in the woods and let it stay and be happy and whatever, and it can break down and do whatever. But uh, you never know what all's in it. Uh, shouldn't be anything harmful to the plants because they got it in there for it to start. So everything's looking good. I'm going to take them in there and water them and uh, see if I can get all this stuff done. Anyway, um, <laughs> you surely didn't have a good tractor. I fall ago, did you? It's probably the... The, uh, the mobile home there. But anyway, we live in a mobile home. Um, it has been safe so far. <laughs> it may not be safe forever, but it is for right now. Um, so anyway. So come join me on some of my other adventures. I do metal detecting and all kinds of stuff. And uh, uh, meet some of the nicest people on uh, YouTube. And you can meet some of them that's not so nice. But, you know, you just have to uh, understand that there's unhappy people out there. And they're going to be unhappy no matter what. But they like to uh, fuss at you, cut you down, whatever. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. I have not, uh, have not, um, I got wood in there. I know my hair looks bad. I'm sorry. Uh, I have not um, had that problem yet. I'm sure I will at some time if I get to... Uh, you know, have enough people subscribing on the channel. I'm sure it will happen. If it does, oh well. We'll deal with it. But uh, you can't take take to heart what people say if they're mean and cruel um, because they're unhappy. Uh, they're unhappy theirself and they just like to put people down. So you cannot, uh, cannot pay attention to it. So, you know, don't take things to heart. Uh, I've seen a lot of them say mean things about those that has like, you know, thousands of people uh, that subscribe to their channels. And um, they're just mean and cruel. I'm going like, wow. It just, you know, kind of goes, hmm. But uh, I'm sure they have learned that you just can't pay attention to it and can't take it to heart. Uh, there's so many good people out there that uh, will support you, give you ideas to do, and I love that. Suggest anytime you want to. I'm always up for suggestions. And, um, uh, Ah, uh, anyway, so this is Lavender Rose. Have a good day. Bye-bye.